Hi everyone, um, welcome again to this uh, session. Uh, today we talk about uh, new uh, service level indicators that we introduced in order to help the team and managers to, mo to monitor and uh, see how the system is behaving. And in this case, we focus on uh, advisor quality. What we mean by advisor quality, basically we want to have a look uh, at what the user are asking to thought. We want to see what uh, Tot is providing to the users, and we want to also gather insights maybe on uh, what are the most used stacks, what uh, are the latency on these stacks. So in this way, we can uh, target specific uh, uh, actions that we need to take in order to improve the system and uh, uh, guarantee the user experience and service level that we want to give. And uh, how did we do that? Um, so Advisor, uh, the resolution engine of uh, Tot, stores uh, documents uh, after each run. And we can see the inputs that uh, were requested and the results, or let's say the report that is created with the outputs um, from Advisor. And uh, Advisor Reporter is um, one of the components that run periodically every week. And every week, uh, basically, analyze these reports and checks what is happening in the, basically, the results that we are providing to the users. And in the last print, we basically improved that logic. Uh, first of all, uh, with the, some specific uh, one uh, focus on the inputs. So basically, we analyze the request of the users. And based on that, we create uh, statistics on the source type, the operating system requested, Python interpreter, the recommendation, the hardware, and the base images. So in this way, we can see um, basically the requests that come from the users. Also, we can learn uh, if there is some, um, I don't know, base image or operating system that is not uh, uh, provided by Tot, and we can basically discuss internally and decide what is the next. Uh, uh, action that we can uh, have on that. And the second logic that we introduced uh, is uh, basically an improvement of the previous one. So in this way, we can basically not only see um, why, I mean, what are the results of uh, advisor? So if we go through this uh, schema, we can see that uh, if the report is provided, basically there are some answers from the from advisor. And in that case, we can analyze the stacks and the justification provided and the products provided. And if there are no errors, then we count that as a successful advisor run. If there is no report, we basically see the reason why. So we gather that uh, specific. And if there are reports, but uh, there are other type of issues, so for example, there is a uh, out of memory or not stack has been provided, or there are some constraint in the time, so maybe advisor needs more uh, time to run for that stack, then all this information is something that we want to gather and to basically immediately know that uh, that is happening, so we can take action on that. And based on these cases, basically, we, we store this data, and now SLO Reporter, our component that uh, sends us an email every week, give us this information. And if we have a look at uh, the example, for example, I run this uh, today just uh, for this demo. But uh, this is the previous knowledge we have. So we can see dot knowledge and uh, how often is learning, uh, this, the level of the services, if they are running correctly. And uh, then we go basically to the new uh, logic that we introduced. So we can see the integrations, so um, which is the integration that is used the most. Uh, the recommendation that uh, the user required the most, um, the operating system and Python interpreters. So we can see exactly if there is something new or a new operating system that uh, we basically cannot provide advice on. We can know we can know that immediately now and uh, act on that if we want to gather knowledge for that uh, specific uh, operating system and Python interpreter. Base images as well and uh, hardware. So we know um, also about the hardware. And the second part is what I described uh, uh, as in the second schema. So you can see, for example, the failure percentage or advisor version. So even if we change a version during uh, some release, 
um, we can see the differences in terms of the advisor version. So if that is improving or is not improving our um, resolution engine. And then we have basically the reason why some of this, I mean, the reason why this advisor fails. So we can see the reason why that is happening. And in this way, we can take action on that. How do we take uh, action on that? Um, beside uh, all these analysis that are provided uh, every week, um, we also introduced uh, some uh, notebooks just as a proof of concept, proof of concept. And these are available in the Thought Station dataset. And basically, these templates allows for three kind of analysis. The first one is uh, related to the um, failed runs. So if we try to basically use this template, the only thing we can we need to change is just the date. So we can decide uh, the period we want. So if we want just to have a look at what up, happened yesterday, maybe we can just run this uh, with this notebook. And if everything goes successfully, hopefully we should see at the end a report. And uh, maybe not today, but this is something weird. Oh, it's still running, sorry. So in the meanwhile, uh, the other two uh, templates are one related to the requested stacks. So this is focus uh, on, it's a similar logic. So each of them has a specific uh, focus, but uh, the logic is quite uh, similar. And uh, this is just to show the, the logic uh, and how this can help the team basically um, find out why the failures, what stacks needs to be more uh, focused. If, for example, if you want to cache them for users. And also we have the analysis of the successful one. So even if they are successful, we want to know how much time they take to go to the users. And in this way, we can target specific uh, changes in order to improve that. Um, yeah, we're still uh, running. So not sure why, maybe. But uh, in any case, I can show you one uh, example that uh, was created. And this is an example of what we can see at the end with the reports. So right now is a very basic i mean we can discuss what information we are interested in but uh, we can see the stacks <clears throat> sorry and uh, the um, id of the advisor documents if you want to have a look uh, more into details of what has happened and some information related to the error messages and this is done for all the stacks that uh, failed basically in the other two cases uh, what we would see is uh, just the list of stacks, uh, for example, for the successful one, and we would see the latency for each of the advisor run and an average time of that. And for the most requested stacks, it's just uh, uh, counting how many of the stacks have been uh, um, asked in the last week, and based on that, it just uh, sort them by number of the requests. And that's all, I think. Oh, there is an issue. Uh, ah. Might have been wrong credential because I changed it. But anyway, you have the, the example here. So that's uh, all I want to show you. So if you have any question, please, uh, I'm here to answer. Uh, I think I comment on this uh, issue. Is, is there any actionable item out of this analysis? So um, that depends on how how can we act on the uh, specific justifications? So I don't know if we have a look at one of these. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there are some fix or issue that we can have a look. But in principle, at least we know that uh, those are failed and uh, uh, we can discuss what are the actions. If you want to add, uh, for example, uh, more integration tests for this kind of uh, stacks. So we make sure that uh, the stacks uh, do not fail in the future. And uh, I mean, this is one action, but we can have more based on the specific cases. Yeah, um, feels to me like um, turning the notebooks into some weekly jobs might be a good thing um, because it, it has some valuable information in there and we can 
um, as we do it for the integration tests, have a look at the, the issues uh, every week, decide if we need to do something. Um, I think all the information is also um, somehow present in the SLO emails you drop every week, right? But that is mm, not that's yes, but that really not, not that not not so well, it is. Yeah, uh, yeah exactly. All the stacks are displayed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, this yeah, the stacks are not displayed in the, in the SLO reporter email. Yeah. And uh, but uh, yes, I open this issue just for next steps if you want when we have uh, this priority. It's yeah. basically to co to convert this logic instead of having these templates, just steps in the task, and we can have uh, these uh, issues automatically open every week. Yeah, it's good. What is that advisor? Advisor port, I think. Nice. I th okay. Yeah, I think make, I mean, in any case, we want to change the jobs to Argo current workflows. So at that point, we can also add this logic. Cool. Um, any other questions, Francesco? If not, very much. That's what we need to use, right? Yeah.